following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 41 through 42. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 29th, 1973, in London, England. When there is an increase of unwanted population, a hellish situation is created both for the family and for those who destroy the family tradition. In such corrupt families, there is no offering of oblations of food and water to the ancestors. Sankaro Narakaiva When there are unwanted children, uh, then the family tradition, the family obligation, they are all forgot. At the present moment, uh, nobody knows that after death there is life and still such life is connected with the family, the forefathers and the descendants. Nothing of the science is known at the present moment. More or less exactly like animals, that's all. As animal has no such feelings of connection, simply the number of days you live, you eat, sleep, have sex life, and die. That's all. Uh, these uh, certain regulation of family, family connection is unknown at the present moment. And still, they are very much proud of advancement of knowledge. So unwanted children, uh, as we have discussed in the previous, pradhasanti kulas priya, he, uh, the omen, kulas priya, family, uh, family omen and prostitute are different. <coughs> Still in India, the uncontrolled woman, or oh, there is a class of prostitutes. They are not family women. But Kulasriya, family women, they have got so many obligations. <clears throat> there is a verse that uh, Sar Hmm. Sargatha Kama Mukshaya Dara Samprapti Hitava. Dara means wife. Wife can help one to be elevated to the heavenly planets and Dharmatha Kama to become helpful in the matter of advancement in religious and spiritual knowledge. Dharma, artha, economic development, karma, uh, satisfying the husband uh, for sense gratification, dharma, artha, karma, and moksha also, also for salvation. Uh, the wife is so important. If there is just wife, she can help the husband in these four principles of life. Dharma, artha, karma, moksha, Dara Samprapti Hitava. If we can train up nice wife, uh, or <coughs> the society trains the girls to become nice wife, uh, he becomes a great source of energy to the husband. Dharmatha Kama Mukshayo Dara Samprapti. And if they are polluted, they become source of the uh, sankara, varna sankara, the exact example of varna sankara is the hippies at the present moment. 
all over the world, uh, not only in the Western countries, but in India also. Uh, so the population, hippie population means Shankara population. So increase of such population means Naraka Ivo, Narak, Helis. Helis condition of life in this life, also in the next life. At that time, to live, actually, we are practically seen in this end here, especially in Calcutta, it has become a hellish life. The population, the younger generation, uh, is so polluted, so contaminated, that you cannot safely walk in the street. Uh, anywhere the young boys, they can encircle you and rob you. You cannot say, the police cannot help, the government cannot help. So these unwanted children, uh, without being trained up in the Varnasam system, they become the cause of hellish life in this uh, life also after death. After death, according to Vedic regulation, uh, pinda udaka, pinda, offering Vishnu prasadam and water at least once in a year it is required uh, by the family members. And according to Vedic culture, there is one month fixed up in a year when all people will offer pindo and udaka to the four persons. Tarpan. Tarpan. Week or fortnight, for one fortnight. So the idea is the if the forefather in that family has not achieved a proper life, sometimes due to sinful activities, too much attachment, a man becomes ghost. Ghost there is ghost. Bhuta Preta Bisata. Not only this life, demonic life, and after death also uh, there are ghostly life. Uh, <clears throat> they do not get this ghost body. Uh, they remain in the subtle body, mind, intelligence, and ego. Uh, due to their gross sinful life, they are punished by not getting a gross life. Because without getting a gross life, we cannot enjoy. With mind, I cannot enjoy rasagulla. I must have the tongue, I must have the hand, fingers, I can pick up. Then in the mind, I may think of eating or collecting rasagulla, but actually I do not get the taste. So gross body is required because every living entity in this material world, they have come to enjoy. Krishna bhuliya jīva bhoga vancha kare pāsate mahatare japotriya dhāsa. This is the beginning of our material life when we forget to render service to Krishna immediately we get a material body offered by the material nature. Prakṛte kriyamānāni gunai karmāni sarvasa ahaṅkār vimurātmā pattāham iti mandra. So this God's body is required for enjoyment. Spirit, spiritual body is also very subtle. And the Astral body or subtle body is also very subtle. The gross body required. 
So, on account of one's uh, severe, sinful life, he does not get this lost body. Therefore, the lutta, pindoda kaktiya, uh, taking uh, for granted that some of my forefathers have become ghostly life and has not got the gross body by this uh, pindodapa. Pinda means offering prasadam, a Vishnu prasadam. Still in India there is a place, Gaya. There is Vishnu temple and it is a custom. All Hindus, nowadays they do not go, they do not believe even. Uh, they have given up everything. <coughs> Due to unwanted children, they don't care for it. What is family? What is Pindu dog? Uh, simply eat, drink, be merry and enjoy. That's all. Uh, but you see, five thousand years, or John, or John was not a Brahmin, or neither a Sannyasi, a Grihastha, householder and a, uh, in the royal order. He is on the battlefield. He is not a Vedantist. But just see how his knowledge is perfect. Uh, this is very cult. One may not be a Brahman. Brahmana is very advanced. Sattva Sama Dhamma Tidikha. But even Kshatriyas, they are also so advanced. So advanced you can see that he is hearing Bhagavad Gita from Krishna in the battlefield. How much time you can spare in the battlefield? Uh, the talk took place between the two soldiers when he was just going to throw his arrow. Sastra uh, Sampati just was going to. He became very compassionate. Krishna, I have to kill my own kinsman. And he is describing. Uh, he is describing the, what kind of sinful activities I am going to do. So, just try to understand how much people were advanced. These Bhagavad Gita talks took place between Krishna and Arjuna in the battlefield, just on the verge of his beginning the Back. So how much time he could spare? At most, half an hour, not more than that. So within half an hour, this Bhagavad Gita was taught to Krishna, and he could understand it, and then he agreed to fight. Yes, nastro maha sitim labdha, karishe vachanam How much advanced you are in education and learning? Just imagine. Uh, at the present moment, they are reading Bhagavad Gita uh, years after years, big, big scholars, big, big uh, theologians, and, but they cannot understand. Uh, after reading Bhagavad Gita, they are accusing Krishna as immoral. Uh, one professor in Oxford University, he is a student, or professor of Bhagavad Gita has written book. Now his conclusion is that Krishna is immortal. That means he could not understand uh, Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita cannot be understood by any demon or third class man that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna said uh, to Arjun that I am speaking to you the same Bhagavad-gītā, science of God, which I spoke millions of years ago to the Sun God, because the parampara is lost, and I have picked up you because bhaktosi me priyosi. You are very dear friend and bhakti. So Bhagavad-gītā is not meant for the demons or the avhaktas. The first condition is, that he must be a devotee of Krishna, then it will be revealed. Otherwise it is not possible. 
राहुल प्रकाश सर्वस्व जुग माया समाप्त नमान दुष्कृत न मूढ़ा प्रबंधन ते नाद हो निश्चिंत सत्य है तो इफ वन इज बिफोर या कृष्णा ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड भगवत गीता वेरी इजीली जस्ट लाइक और जो अंडरस्टूड उस दिन हाथ बना आर आई से कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एंड वन सेंस द पीपल एट दैट टाइम वर सो एजुकेटेड एडवांस that they could talk about the absolute truth and understand within half an hour one hour there was no need of books in those days people were so sharp memory one heard from the spiritual master they will never forget they with the advancement of knowledge so many things will reduce One of them is the memory will be reduced. People will be weaker. There will be no more mercy. The brain will not be so powerful or sharp. These things are described. So we cannot even imagine what kind of brain Arjun possessed. Another thing, this Bhagavad Gita. is part of mahabharat and the mahabharat was written for sri shudra dijabandhuna traina suti gochara sri ome sri shudra and dijabandh dijabandh means a person born in high family brahman chhatri vaishya at least brahman chhatri that is not qualified brahmana or kshatriya he is called dijabandhu the friend of the twice born the brahman kshatri vaishya they are twice born one birth is father and mother another birth is by the spiritual mother uh, by vedic knowledge the vedic knowledge is mother and the spiritual master is the father so the second birth therefore they are called dijab twice born so Dijavan Duna, those who are not actually twice born, but born in the family of Dijav, therefore they are called Dijavandu, not Dijav, friends of the Dijav, Dijavandu. One may become a friend of the Dijav, one may become a son of a high court judge, but that does not mean he is high court judge. But now they are taking because my father is Brahma, that Brahma is Brahma. No, that was not accepted. Your father may be Brahmana, but if you are not qualified as Brahmana, you cannot be called a Brahmana. You can be called Dijavandhu. So this Mahabharat was written, Sri Sudha Dijavandhu Na Trayina Suti Ko Jad, Oman and Dijavandhu and the Shudras, uh, it is very difficult for them to understand the Vedic literature directly, uh, because they have no advanced knowledge or education. Therefore, the same thing, the Vedic knowledge was described in the Mahabharat, because it is history. Everyone is interested to read history, the true history. Uh, the Vedic knowledge was imparted. Therefore, Mahabharat is called the fifth Veda. There are four Veda: Sam Joju, Rig, Athabha, and Mahabharat is fifth Veda. Oh. They are meant for these three Shudra Dijaman. So, Bhagavad Gita is within the Mahabharat. So actually, it was meant for the less intelligent class of man. But at the present moment. The highest intelligent class of man cannot understand. Just see the difference. Formerly, five thousand years, this was meant for the less intelligent class of man, and we are we have deteriorated so much that the so-called highest intelligent class of man cannot understand this Bhagavad Gita. 
and he is posted as the professor in the Oxford University. So this class of men are leading the society. The third class, fourth class men, they are leaders. So now we are talking with so many big, big persons, guests coming daily. But actually we can see how much the third class, fourth class men practically blind, they are leading the society. That we can understand. Therefore, the social order just like Arjuna is describing here, Sankaro Naraka Yuva Kula Bhana Kula Who knows this? Who knows this science? Eh? The Sankara Naraka Yuva. He who produce unwanted children, irresponsible children, then the whole world will be in hellish condition. He is caring for that. The world is in hellish condition. We can perceive, but they are trying in a different way. Uh, they want to remain uh, demons, at the same time they want to become leaders. Uh, so uh, at the present moment, comparing uh, the social status 5,000 years ago, uh, according to Darwin's theory, 5,000 years ago, men were uncivilized. Uncivilized. Now, this literature is written by uncivilized men. Let's see. Uh, and so highly intellectual writings, they were uncivilized. Uh, now they have become civilized. Uh, that is Darwin's theory. We are not making progress. Uh, so, uh, Arjun said, Patamsi Vitarar, he is Lupta Pindu Daka. Pindu Daka. In Calcutta, there was a big scientist. His name was Sar Pishira. He was speaking in a. He was atheist, number one. He was speaking that this is Pindu Daka. By offering pinda, prasadam, and water, if it goes to my forefather, so just uh, give me to eat downstairs, whether I can eat upstairs. Uh, this reason. Uh, but he does not know that uh, how much there are different types of eating. Uh, uh, they, do, they do not know there is eating in the subtle body also. Uh, the ghosts also they eat, but the method is different. Uh, so even a big scientist speak like that, then how the ordinary people, that the authority is sesta, lokasta dhanuvatta, if the so-called advanced in education, they speak so irresponsibly, naturally others will follow. Therefore, at the present moment, the whole generation is covered with ignorance and darkness, no clear knowledge. And without clear knowledge, whatever we do, just like in darkness, whatever we act, that is simply embezzlement, that's all. It is not very correctly understood. Therefore, we have no correct knowledge, no correct activities. And, and the result is naraka hmm. So can we read the next verse? Translation. Due to the evil deeds of the destroyers of family tradition, all kinds of community projects and family welfare activities are devastated. So, jati dharma, jati, Nowadays it has been taken as national. But here Jati Dharma means just like one is born in Brahmana Jati, Satriya Jati, Vaishya Jati, Sudra Jati. So each Jati, they have got different types of responsibility. 
So when the unwanted children, irresponsible children, they do not follow anymore the tradition, the family tradition or jati dharma. So they create a class of population with Bhana Sankar. So, so everything becomes topsy-turvy, hellish condition. And actually it has so happened. Now there is no more jati dharma. Uh, everyone is engaged somehow or other to fill up the daily. Uh, always, for, formally there was stitcha. The, the brāhmaṇa, the kshatriyas and the vaiṣyāsas, these three are caste. Uh, there are certain restrictions. The Brahman would not do this. Or the Brahman must do this. So that is called Jati Dharma. The Brahman cannot accept service from anywhere. I have discussed many times. The Chatri also cannot. And Vaishnava Only the Sudras can become servant of others. Purichajjatma kamkajyam sudra karma sabhava. So at the present moment nobody can observe the strict rules and things that I am born in a Brahmin family, I cannot accept anyone's service. Uh, then you will have to starve uh, because he has no Brahminical capacity uh, by education, by culture. He is a Shudra, although falsely he is claiming that he is a Brahmana or a Kshatriya. So his Jati Dharma, family, tradition, family, family rituals, everything is lost uh, due to these unwanted children. Uh, unwanted children uh, match everything topsy-turvy. So Arjuna is visualizing all the future. Uh, calamities. But there is one remedy. It is a fact that uh, jati dharma we have lost. Uh, no more we can be called strictly uh, that following the jati dharma. No more can uh, present himself strictly as a brahman and kshatriya. Everything is lost now. Uh, by the influence of Kaligula uh, and Varna Shankara. So there is only one remedy, only one remedy, that is uh, stated in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto. Devarsi Bhutata Ninanga Pitrinam Nakinkara Nayam Rinicharaja. Sarvat manaja saranam saranyam gato mukundam parihuttu kattum. We must admit that we have created hellish condition of society by producing unwanted children and uh, disobeying the jati dharma or kula dharma. That one has to admit, everyone. So, what is the remedy? Uh, only remedy is to surrender to Krishna. Krishna also says, Krishna is canvassing. That even you can give up your jati dharma, but simply surrender unto me. I shall give you protection. Uh, there is another verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Kakva sadharmam charanam bhujam hare. Sadharma. Sadharma means jati dharma. So I am born in a Brahman or Kshatriya, so I have got sadharma. A Kshatriya or Brahman has got his own regulative principle. So Bhagavad Narada says, Bhagavad says in Narada says, that if one has given her, given up his jati dharma, because Krishna is asking, Sarva-dharmaṁ puritvaj. Sarva-dharmaṁ means this sadharma, jati dharma, or so many other dharmas man created for the 
nice keep up of the society, just like we create, even in the modern world, so many rules and regulations. Take for example that one must keep to the left. Just to keep order in the society, there are so many things. Uh, so jati dharma, kula dharma is also like that. Uh, spiritually, it has no value. Uh, it, it can help one to be elevated on the spiritual platform, but uh, spiritual advancement uh, does not depend on this jati dharma or kula dharma. It does not depend. Uh, even without uh, following the rules and regulations of jati dharma and kula dharma, one can become advanced in spiritual life. Uh, if one is serious to become Krishna conscious, that all these material impediments cannot take uh, Anyone can become. Uh, <clears throat> Sat Sapachu, that is, what is called? Mantra Tantra Visharata, Mantra Tantra Visharata, Avaishnava Guru Nasasya, Sat Vaishnava Sapachu Guru. Mantra Tantra Visharata, one is very expert in Jati Karma, but if he is not a Vaishnava, if he is not a devotee, of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu means Vishnu Asa Devata, one who has accepted. There are many demigods, Devata. So sometimes they are advised that if you want this result, then you worship this demigod. And it's like it is said that if you want a beautiful wife, so you worship Uma, uh, Uma, the wife of Lord Shiva. Uh, she is very beautiful. Uh, so similarly, if you want uh, learning, then you worship such and such demigod. If you want money, then you worship such and such demigod. These are their, uh, I mean, say, mm, mm, orders uh, in the Vedic literature. But uh, if you want to get relief from this material condition of life, then you have to take the shelter of Vishnu, Vaishnava. Or the Shastra says, even if you have got other desire to fulfill, still you become Vaishnava. That is the last instruction. You don't require to worship other demigods. In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, Kamaskasta Hitogyana Jajanti Anna Devata. If one is a builder on account of lusty desire, they go to define demigods for begging some benefits. So they are Hitogyana. Hitogyana means lost of intelligence. If Krishna is the Supreme, so suppose if you want some material happiness, can he not give you? He can give you also. So why should you bother about other demigods? Therefore, it is said, Kamastasta Hitogya. If Krishna is the Supreme Law, so if I have got some desire, material desire, actual bhakti means minus all material. Annavilasita sunna. One must be free from all material desire. But even if you have got some material reserve, still you can take shelter of Krishna. You don't require to take shelter of other Deva. So that is the last instruction in the Vedic literature. Akama sarva kama va moksha kama udharadhi kīvrīna bhakti yogīna jagīta paravampur. Akama means devotee. Devotees have no desire. They have got desire just to become devotee of Krishna. That is natural desire. Uh, if, the, if, if the son desires that I shall be obedient son of my father, 
That is natural desire. All the sun desires that I shall depend on my father and I shall be happy. That kind of desire is natural desire. Similarly, uh, if one desires that I shall become a devotee of law, Krishna, that is natural desire. But when I desire to lord it over the material nature and forget my service to Krishna, that is called vāsana. Uh, that is material desire, uh, avilās. Uh, so we have to give up this material desire. Then it is bhakti. Anna-vilāsa-kāsannam jñāna-karmā-dhanā-vṛtam ānukullīna kṣṇa. So, even if we have violated the jāti-dharmā and kula-dharmā, that is a fact we have done so. Uh, there is no denying this fact. Every one of us we have done that. Then what is the next uh, duty or remedy? Uh, because we have violated everything. So that for that purpose, the Bhagavad gives you direction. Here is verse. Devasi Bhutanam Ninam Pitrinam. The Pitri, Pitri Pinda Goko Kya. Uh, so we are obliged to offer Pinda and water to the Pitri. But here is an, uh, what is called, hmm. outlet. Devasi. We are indebted to the Devatas. Rishi, you are indebted to the great sages. Uh, Deva Rishi, Deva Rishi, Bhutana, we are indebted to so many other living entities. Bhutana and uh, Nina, we are also indebted to the human society. Nina, Pitrina, we are indebted to the Pitris, forefathers. Pitrina. So, nothing kara. Uh, Nayam Rimi Charaja. One it becomes free from the servitude of all these uh, personalities. Devarsi, Bhuta, Pundina, Pitrina. How he can become? Sarvatmanaja Saranam Saranam. One who has fully surrendered unto the lotus feet of the Lord. Huh? Saranyam. Saranam means here is the real place where one can surrender fully. Others, if I surrender to cats and dogs, what he will uh, help me? Therefore they are not saranam, but by mistake if they take shelter of such cats and dogs, uh, what benefit we get? Therefore saranam, the worthwhile uh, surrender is to the lotus feet of Mukunda. Therefore it is said, Sarvātmanāja saranam saranam gatu mukundam pariyuttu kattam. We have got so many duties, but in this age uh, we have lost everything. Therefore our only duty is to surrender unto the lotus feet of Mukunda, Krishna. Uh, that will save us. Krishna says, it is not story, Krishna says, aham kāṁ sarva pāpi bhama khaśyāṁ. I know that you have violated your family tradition, your caste regulations, everything you have done, for which you are to be punished, sinful activities. But I give you an assurance. If you surrender unto me, then aham kā sarva pāpi bhama khaśyāṁ. I shall give you deliverance from the all reaction of sinful activities. Therefore, at the present moment, because we have lost all culture, we have done so many sinful activities, if we want to be saved, it is the only remedy is to surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna and thus become saved. Thank you very much.